Hello, and welcome to an overview of CDGC dashboards. We're going to be going over dashboards within the data governance catalog. And we'll first give an overview of the dashboard, what it looks like, uh, what a default screen looks like, how to modify those dashboards, an overview of widgets, and how to add and modify those widgets. When you first land into the data governance and catalog screen, you will typically be presented with a screen labeled My Dashboard, which is the default dashboard. For this exercise, I've gone ahead and created a test dashboard where we can see we already have one widget in play. Let's quickly go through the widgets available by selecting the three dots in the top right corner, New Widget, and then we have a list with a short description, if you hover over, of each one. We have options for clear activity, data quality, which is the one that's present currently, job monitoring, a notice board, which functions as memos, a search-based widget, and tickets. We'll go through these one by one. Clear activity, uh, if we wanted to, we would give this a title. And then we would have the information about what Claire is doing, assets that have recommendations, and we can modify which recommendations we're actually looking at. Classifications that Claire has made, glossary associations, or classifications that Claire is actually generating. And we can put a description next to it. We're going to go ahead and cancel out of that, move back to new widgets, and go a bit further into data quality. And here in data quality, we can give ourselves a title like I gave for DQ test. And then we can uh, create a search query uh, for data quality uh, if we wanted to have a donut graph. Uh, for instance, I could give a preview of all DQ assets and I could see an overview of what's good, acceptable, or not acceptable. The same search query is not going to be available for the other types of graphs because these are giving information based on the dimensions that we're providing, accuracy, completeness, etc. Uh, the same can be seen here in the chart that is already created in this dashboard. Since we already have this created, we'll hit cancel, new widget, and go into job monitoring. Uh, job monitoring is going to give us information on whichever type of job we suggest. We can give it on the template, import, export jobs. Uh, we can change the type as well, uh, like you saw on the other screen, to what's running, completed, failed, or partially completed. And we'll go ahead and cancel out of this and move to the notice board. Again, uh, this functions more as uh, notes that can be left uh, as reminders. And cancel. Uh, to search based, uh, this will present a, we can query all assets or uh, present uh, certain assets for, let's say columns, if I wanted to see all columns. I would have a quick access view uh, within the catalog. Uh, of course, this could be narrowed down uh, through the search criteria to whichever uh, set of resources you actually wanted to see. If you wanted it to come from a certain resource, limit the number of rows available, and we can again change the type to count um, or a graph uh, option. This, of course, is limited by the asset types that I've selected, but here are examples of the previews. And moving on to our last one, tickets. Uh, this will, again, uh, we give a search that we want to see and then select the uh, asset type and then we can have a preview for tickets associated uh, with that asset. Currently, we have nothing to display. If I were to search, uh, for instance, business terms, would be more likely to see tickets uh, associated with that in a typical catalog setting. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, one more widget for uh, the purpose of explanation. And we'll give this a title testing, create, and once this is done, we can reorder widgets to have these present 
in whichever way uh, that we would find most helpful. And as you have more widgets, it might be uh, more helpful to move these into an order that's going to be most uh, easy to view for your particular needs. Finally, I wanted to go over uh, creating a new dashboard, uh, deleting a dashboard, and editing a dashboard. The edit is going to let us uh, change the name of the existing dashboard that we're already on. Uh, we can delete the dashboard that we're on as long as we have a single default dashboard uh, still present. Uh, we can clone this dashboard, which is going to give all of the exact same widgets, and a new dashboard will create a blank new dashboard that we can build off of. In summary, we've gone over the process of creating a dashboard, modifying what the widgets do. More information can always be found in the product documentation, uh, searching through the Informatica knowledge base, and searching the search term widgets. We'd love to hear more from you. Please reach out to us on either of these spots. And thank you for your time.